Hello, my beautiful people. It's Marbird. Welcome, beautiful souls and seekers and all that good stuff. Um, super chill. It's just, it's that kind of a day. We are going to do a what's tea, baby? What's being said about you? What's going on right now uh, in your life? I am going to go ahead and shuffle. I've been getting some like energetic hits of people like, oh, she's making those piles up. And uh, like sometimes if I'm doing like investigative work, absolutely. <laughs> like that's what I do. I need to be really specific. So if there, I'm doing like a reading that's like, who's jealous of you? I'm going to take my deck of 18 people and see exactly who it is. Like, and if it's, you know, it may be a general reading, it may only apply to 20 of you out of like 260, but still you're getting the actual tea. So, um, yeah, y'all can keep that to yourself. Also, I'm going to just, just shuffle and kind of get into the groove while we're talking here about housekeeping. Um, if you haven't gone and checked out my new channel, it's called The Intuitive uh, Professionals Nook. And it's just going to be like, this is like the, the fun, the meshy, the spirituality type of side of me. And then if you go over to The Professionals Nook, The Intuitive Professionals Nook. Um, on YouTube and TikTok and you know, I, I it's still brand new so bear with me But I do have two pick of cards over there um, and then we're gonna be doing uh, Like learning vocabulary because people don't a lot of people don't know that like the broader your vocabulary is the broader uh, The more money you'll make and there's like studies that you, but we're, we're gonna do all this stuff We're gonna dive into how you can take control weaponize and monetize your intuitive gifts um, so definitely check that out. If you're interested in donating, oh, that's what I want to tell you. Yeah, um, if you want to donate, because I'm going to be shutting down personal readings um, at the beginning of 2023. Um, if you want investigative readings, um, then I will be available for that. But I have a Fiverr gig in the link tree. I'm trying, I don't know which way I'll be facing, but in the, in the very top banner of the YouTube, um, there's a link tree and you can go there and you can go to drop down there's a tip jar um there's uh all of the links where you can book but i have this new gig on fiverr it's introductory prices because sometimes it's a little daunting for someone to say like i don't know if i want to spend a hundred dollars and i don't know you right so i think i got them starting at like ten dollars or something like that and then you can just like ask one question and then see if we, it resonates and then if you want to further continue with me fantastic but those are only going to be open um through the end of through this year and then I'll be doing couples and the couples it'll be a minimum of $120 for a couple reads because it's two people and um and then I'll be doing business commercial investigative so stay tuned for that I'm trying to think what else is there masculine feminine energy spirit is telling me you know just keep in mind that uh, whatever comes up like I'm speaking to everybody, uh, like a full collective, but you can vice versa if you're like, that doesn't sound like me, but it sounds like the person I'm dating or something like that. If you're involved with people in relationships or where you're in their energy, I'm either picking up on that or picking up on you, um, picking up on things in my life that I may be talking about in my life, but it, it, it actually relates to you. It just might be two years later. We all move through energy differently. So there's a lot of different ways that you can skin a cat when it comes to card divination um, specifically. Uh, with tarot, with the archetypes, that's why I like to use um, just a bevy of, of different types of cards, which we're going to be using here. So like I said, I'm going to be live stream, like live shuffling on here. Um, if you're interested in any of the decks that I am using, um, I'm using fortune telling decks, oracle decks, um, like in, in educational decks, like really hard hitting. Uh, the shamanic, uh, the, the mystical shaman is kind of like a really, it's very natural base, but um, it's a heavy hitter. So we get a lot of information. And then the tarot that I'll be using is Chris Ann's Muse deck, which is very feminine. So it's kind of balancing everything out. Um, but all of those decks are linked down below in the description box. And I will get a small little bit of money if you buy through my links. So. Mm. Bless tea, baby. Yes, I am drinking out of a marinara glass. It's bigger. I don't like just wasting a tea bag on a, like a tiny little cup and then having to go refill it, whatever. Like I like volume. <laughs> okay, almost five minutes in. I'm trying to think if there's anything um, else. So I'm going to be using the Lenormand. Here it's the Art Nouveau Lenormand linked down below. And uh, just to kind of get like a, a grounded, it's going to ground me actually all of these oracle cards. But let's just go ahead and start. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say it's a five minute mark for pile one. Welcome everybody and welcome all the new subscribers. Hello. Sorry. 
I'm just, uh, I'm getting into the energy. I haven't read in a hot minute and um, it feels good. It feels good. So what's the gossip for pile one? Excuse me, I know a lot of people want to see. Okay, yeah, let's give you three things. Let's give you three items to, I'm like, do we even need to do that? No, we're not going to do it. Sorry, <laughs> if you want to just pick a pile. All right. So what's the gossip on my pile one? And we're gonna, ooh, abundance, I like that. We got the clover here, can you see that? Look at her, she's like, oh, I'm surrounded by love. And abundance, and so, okay, we're, we're just gonna go ahead, I'm using Mystical Shaman, we're gonna grab something here. And yeah, we're gonna you off the, the cup. I See, I'm already getting annoyed, because I'm like, she just made the piles. It'd be a lot more efficient. I feel like I'm taking too long. I love myself. <laughs> I crack myself up. Oh, we're taking them up right. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we've got the the manifestation card, the manifestation card out of the uh, like. This is actually drawing it in. Like the rattle is like calling it in. Uh, the, the this flow, but there's smoky mirror. People don't know. Oh, that's what the gossip is. People don't know where your money's coming from. <laughs> your abundance. They don't know how you're making your money, and I feel like they're assuming the worst. <laughs> I totally understand. I'm an exotic dancer. I don't, I don't do anything outside of like dancing. I just love the dancing part and like the speed dating, like get to know people and then just like walk away and have beverages and it helps me, I don't know, just alchemize. It's networking, all that other stuff. But a lot of people just assume like I'm like sucking things in the back room. <laughs> Right, or they see me like in my regular whatever, and they see me in my wig get all done up. They're like, she must be a prostitute. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of talk about like also your manifestation skills. I don't think that people really under you might be in a, a community or like a a group of people that just don't have never been exposed to like what manifestation is. They feel like it's like this hoodoo magic type of thing or whatever. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of haziness, and and it's funny to me because, like I said, I don't do a lot of extracurricular activities, so I don't make a ton of money um, at the club. But I'm very frugal, right? I I live with very, and I'm and I'm not saying that like you know I'm working towards abundance, but I've had to teach my you know teach myself because before I just blew through money when I had a lot of it, making like fifty thousand a year. And I didn't even know how to, you know, budget or anything like that. And now I'm making it work. I'm like a thousand dollars a month, if not less. So, um, yeah, um, I, I don't think, I, I think also with this, people just don't know who you are. They know that you are doing things. They know that you've got things going on, but they just, they can't, I don't, I, they can't see the forest through the trees with you. And I think that's the reason why is because like you see how she's turned, her head's turned to the side here, and she's turned, like there's nothing, the only thing that's like front facing here is this smoky mirror, which is like, I don't know, am I seeing, is that an illusion, is that a mirage? People think you're a ra mirage maybe. They were like, oh, she presents this way, but there's gotta be something behind the scenes. And I feel like you're kind of like, you're damn sure right. <laughs> But I don't know you like that, right? Like if you can't, oh, this came up in, in the last uh, reading, if you can't deal with me or if you're like triggered by me, like just by my looks or just the way I talk or by my skin color, if you're triggered by that, I'm damn sure not going to tell you who I am, like the rest of me, because like that's just going to make you hate me even more. Why? Because you're not really doing anything with your life. I know that sounds terrible and I know it sounds like judgmental or whatever, but really when it comes down to it is people, I feel are really like, <laughs> yeah, people are very irritated with you that you're just like unbothered and you're just getting your own bag and you're not worried about whose hands are gonna come in the bag because I feel like you're very highly protected here. Whether you protect yourself or, you know, I'm not getting like huge spirituality vibes off of this. I think you're just a normal ass person that keeps to yourself and has got like five, like several gigs and so you're busy. Right? People don't know anything about you because you don't hang out with them because you go do work and then you go do another job and then you go do another job and then you sleep and then you do it again. Yeah. That's the tea on you. All right. We're going to keep these super short. I thought we were going to go long, but like, yeah. Um, all right. Next pile. That's cool. I'm getting a lot more. I'm starting to get a lot more off of that. Like, I mean, I guess I always have, but anyways. Cool. All right. Let's put this back in. We're going to move on to pile two. I'm trying to make these, like, nice and sweet. I was trying to, oh, well, 
I did do five minutes. Yeah, I was trying to keep for five minutes, so that makes sense. We're at 10 minute mark. All right, cool. Pile two. Um, let's go ahead and get an energy, like at this the jumping off point for my pile two. Ooh. <laughs> I got the current. I say the current. Um, if you're unfamiliar with tarot, this is for the person that's asking. Like this is the main. This is yeah, main character energy. That's what it is. Because I was gonna say it's like people are saying that you're selfish. Um, but I'm getting again. She's like looking towards the future. She's like all this beautiful. Like she's gathered up her skirt. She's like yo. She's about to get. She's about. I feel like she's got, oh, that's so crazy. She's gathered her up. I'm getting this, like, visual in my head, like, somebody, like, ready, getting ready to, like, run. But they've got all this, like, you know, this big dress or something. I'm getting, like, these, you know, this Victorian Art Nouveau vibe or whatever. But I feel like she's, like, gathering her skirt and about to, like, sprint to, towards something. And I think a lot of people <laughs> feel left out. I feel like they think this person's very selfish. Um, I know a lot of people think that about me. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. Are you paying my bills? Are you, are, are you happy? Are you rooting me on? Because if you're not, then bye, Felicia. <laughs> like, right? Like, you're damn sure straight. Are you, are you, what are you bringing to me that I should be sharing my whatever it is with you? So people are like, oh, well, she doesn't talk to me or she didn't just that. She's self, you're damn, sh yeah, self-focused, right? Self-centered? Absolutely. I am the center of my own universe. I create my own universe. If, unless you bring something to the table, you want to collaborate, do a barter and trade, something like that, that sounds awesome. But if not, like, yeah, I'm not giving you any of my energy and I'm damn sure not going to let you know my business. Woo! Yeah, okay. Yeah, there it is. That's the gossip on you. <laughs> you have no problem speaking your mind. You have no problem saying this is where I came from. Well, I don't even think that you tell a lot of people where you came from. This is where I'm going, and if you shit or get off the pot, like, you, are you in my way? I think you're in my way. Actually, I don't even care if you're in a way. I'm just going to navigate. Yeah, no, you're very um, hard to catch, hard to reach. I hate when people use the, like, untouchable or whatever, but I feel like it, it's kind of like it's giving those vibes here where you're just like, I, oh, my favorite word's coming up. If, if you're going to bring fuckery to my life, then I'm not going to keep you in it right and people were talking about oh second chances if you didn't treat me right the first I love that Marilyn Monroe uh, quote um if you don't love me when I'm down if you didn't love me or appreciate me when I'm down you damn sure don't deserve me when I'm on the rise I'm totally butchering it but you understand it I'm sure a lot of you do because I know a lot of y'all are watching me salute <laughs> you may hate me but you're upping my subscriber count, right? Like, regardless of whether you're on a fake account or not or anything like that, you're giving me engagement, right? You're giving me watch time hours. Thank you so much, haters. I love you so much. Mwah. Same. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think you're well aware of the people that can't stand you. And again, unbothered, which bothers other people, which gives a red flag. It, it gives, it's like, so much time is being spent on you and yourself, right? thinking about what I'm doing when you could be using this time to be doing something for yourself. So we're going to, okay, we're going to grab this one. This one, okay, it keeps wanting to come out. So we're just going to take it. It's like, it, it, it popped out. I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Yeah, you're not afraid. Oh, there it is. You're not afraid of people not liking you. You're, you're cool with the discomfort. You're like, I, people have hated me in my entire life. Like, for me, I'm like, I cut my own mother off. I cut my entire family off. You think that you're going to hurt my feelings? Go ish yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I, you're sassy. You're straightforward. You are comfortable with confrontation. I feel, I don't feel like you're a, conf a confrontational person unless, you know, I feel like you, I, I feel like you're very professional, I feel like you're very, you keep things in context, but I don't feel like you run when somebody like raises their little, their little like, nah, and you're like, did you not see my scorpion tail that was like hovering over your head the entire time? Yeah, I'm definitely getting some little bit of scorpio in here. Also Virgo, Virgo people don't realize that like I have six Virgo placements. People have no idea how vindictive Virgo can get if you trigger them. Virgos are all about service. It's the servant's heart. Right? It's like, what can I do for you? How can I nurture you? How can I take care of you? But if you take advantage of me, I'm like the best strategist in the Zodiac. So come at me, motherfucker. 
bleh, try to stay monetized on the platform. Yeah, you. I feel like you're very cutting with your words as well. Um, I, I'm just smiling because I mean, there's just a lot of people. I used to be like, again, I said this in the last reading. I used to tiptoe around people's feelings, but like when you start dealing with people in corporate America, like you're talking to a pilot, we're having like, it's very short, it's very like, it's, and, and, and when I first started flying, it was very uncomfortable working with the gate agents, working with the people on the plane, and then I learned how to be able to just stand up for myself, but not in like an aggressive, like, re, re, re way, right, because I'm always on, on, on camera, I'm always, people are, you know, 300 people looking to see if you're going to pop off on somebody because they're sticking their finger in your face, you get a little hair on your chest, and you have to like, and you're in lipstick and heels, and they're like, you know, six four. You start learning how to measure, and you know, it's 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 energy management, it's personal management. So we're gonna get one more card here, even though we're a little bit over. I'm just getting a feel. Okay, spiritual values, long range thinking, travel. What is to be shared? I think you show people that it's okay for them to to stand up for themselves and these are the spiritual values it's like you have your own like moral code I totally understand your own Hammurabi you know I think that's the word I hope I'm not butchering it and I hope I'm referring to the right thing long-range thinking and travel I think also you help people realize that like yeah I, you can't just make a TikTok and expect to go viral right I've been on TikTok I've been YouTube for two years like it's it's a grind and you've got to put dedication so I think people realize like how is this person getting all this done and they just expect like I'm gonna make a TikTok and I'm gonna get viral and, it, and then it doesn't happen and they quit right so I think people are starting to realize that you are playing the long game you do think like a farmer you may work like a hunter right like that's me like as an exotic dancer I'm like that's me working like a hunter there's money I'm gonna go make it but I think like a farmer and I have two businesses that I've been nourishing and and you know for two years traveling almost three years now um, that I've just been watering, like they're my plants. I can't keep a plant alive, but I can keep a project alive and I can make, you know, tiny baby steps towards it. So now all of a sudden it's like this body of work that, that people hopefully will realize that, you know, how do you eat an elephant? It's, it's in one bite at a time, tiny increments. Okay. All right. Pile two. I love you all so much. Well, let's get out of that energy. I'm like, do I have my moon spray? I don't know where the moon spray is. Okay, we don't. Oh, but we got crystals. Yay. My Airbnb buddy is like, your booby crystals? Oh, I'm going to drop them right in here. Have a good time. All right, pile number three. Let's just get into this. I'm getting called to the shamanic. Again, pile number, okay, first. Got it. Oh, pile number three. I'm like, this is deep. Okay, what's the gossip on you? What's the gossip on my pile? Let me use this first. Okay, what's the gossip on you? I'm starting to get like really introspective right now. I feel like I almost feel like the the hermit out of the tarot. Tar tarot? Can, can I speak? Yeah, I feel like a uh, hermit vibes for sure. Um, but we'll see what comes out. But I just feel like you're very. Um, I feel like I'll start observing. <laughs> but this is the gossip on you. Let's get a anchor an anchor card here. The chat, it's in reverse, yeah. They didn't want me to take the other ones in reverse, but they want me to take this one in reverse. Attraction, I feel like you have retracted. I, I see attraction and I, I heard retraction. You have retracted your energy. I'm getting like all this, like, but oh, that's what it is. Oh, that's the gossip. You retracted your energy. Nobody knows what's going on, but there's something like this looks like a supernova, something like there is a lot. Oh yeah, there, there's a lot of everybody can feel you. They just can't see you. I told you, hermit. Uh, excuse me, that was sexy. I know. It's a chill day. I think I'm trying to do like a couple of pick a card, so you're just gonna see. I might change clothes, but other than that, um, yeah, no. I think this. There's a lot of people that want to know what you're doing where you're going, what you've got under the surface, what do you know? There's a, yeah, there's a lot of chitter chatter, all this chitter chatter. There, you're being surrounded and I feel like it's not that awesome. I'm just gonna say, you're this bright light and there's a lot of darkness around you. You know, I don't know what you do for a living, but um, I definitely feel like there's a community that has their eyes on you. Take that as confirmation. Let's go ahead and get to the shamanic. 
so funny. I start like doing this and all of a sudden everybody and their grandmother is like back and forth, back and forth is probably energy, but it used to annoy me and now I'm like, okay, you do you do. <laughs> I'm like, I'm working, right? I'm working. Um, let's see what else the, the, the community is saying here. Okay, that came out in reverse. Yeah, they don't know. The witness. They can't see you. It came out horizontally. They don't know which way to get. Oh, oh. I just got heard nefarious. Another card here. Another card here. Thank you. Nefarious. They don't. The, oh. Okay, this is what the gossip is. It's been revealed that you aren't nefarious. But they still don't know who you are. Because i got the witness here. I feel like there's a lot of, like, people don't know who you are. That it, like, I think they're starting to get a, a feeling that you may, <laughs> okay, like, may not be who you say you are. I don't know if people feel that about me, but I'm like, I'm on LinkedIn. <laughs> like, I have... 24 like social media platforms like I'm a real person <laughs> um but I think that people think you might be well I mean if you're not watching people <laughs> then what then what are you doing drugs I'm not like I, I love my I love my you know recreational marijuana if I can get it if I'm in a legal state here I stick with the Delta 9 because I can get it at the gas station I get my little edibles that are legal right I keep myself nice my nose nice and clean um I say my nose like I wasn't even like yeah I, I haven't done like hard drugs in a really long time so I mean like yeah <laughs> I mean I barely started having sex again um, we have uh, the witness here. Yeah, there's there's a lot of you've retracted. They don't know what side of the fence you're on. It hasn't been illuminated why you've retracted. I think there's a lot of oh look at that yeah. I think there's a lot of illumination. Look at this. I was saying this community. I feel I, I, now I'm getting fireworks in my like poof, poof. Poof, when I was in Arizona and I was uh, living there and you go on like a plateau and you could see over the entire like Maricopa, not entire Maricopa, but like you would have all the little cities. It was just like this and you could watch the fireworks, but it would be like all the different cities, like all of their fireworks going off. But since you were on a higher, you could see, so you get like six different like cities and their own fireworks. It was the coolest thing ever, but that's what I'm getting. I feel like, and things are coming to light. Yeah, there's this cycle there's a lot of chitter chatter people want to know you've retracted they know why and it's being revealed why it's been revealed yeah there's something about you that has been revealed and I don't I don't think it's a bad thing I I think I think it's a good and a bad thing I think it's a good thing for you I think people are seeing you for who you are um but I think it's a bad thing for other people who maybe were trying to uh skew the narrative about you yeah, I'm definitely feeling that because I, I, I feel like this is my pile because I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just straight up with y'all. <laughs> like if they're, you know, these, you know, when we're doing care or whatever, we're picking up energies that are in and around us. We set the intention, but there's always one that like resonates and this definitely resonates because uh, there's definitely been a, a situation where people have been spreading like gossip rumors and not good ones. Like I'm talking about like things that could get somebody like legally in trouble, like prostitution and like hard drug use and like all of this stuff. Um, about me and it's just like I've just been working <laughs> I'm on camera 24 hours a day <laughs> right I have friends with resources that know exactly who I am so who do you like yeah like who do you oh I think that's what it was people are like who do you think you are that's what it was who do you think you are right that's that ego and ego is healthy right but you have to have the ego death and then you got to bring it back Right when I first began the spiritual journey, I was a total like narcissistic, manipulative, this, that, the other, blah, 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 blah. And then I had to work through my spiritual journey and have to go through the dark night of the soul and do the, all of the work and like work through my karma and realize the shit that I was putting out. I was getting back like almost immediately and had to like just so people were like, I'm not a monk. I just don't like karmic backlash. I'm efficient. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> 
was like, wait, if I don't do like shitty things or come out of a shitty place to other people, it won't happen to me. So yeah, I think you're teaching, I think a lot of lessons have been learned here. So we're going to cut this short. Like, well, no, I don't think it's short, but um, yeah, that was pile three. We're going to do one more. Feeling good, feeling good. All right. Take it to the Tara. Okay. Tara. Okay. Pile number, where's the moons? All right, I will set myself up for success next time. You hear me? Why? Where's the moon spray? Come on. I just like clearing the energy out and I can't be flames in here. So. It's so funny. People are like calling me a prostitute and I'm like, but I'm in a house that says no flames and I haven't lit a candle the entire time I've lived here and I like clean other people's rooms and they have candles and smoke in the room and I'm like, I. I literally am like the, the like most like making sure I'm doing the most to be as perfect as possible. Hello, six plants in Virgo. And people are like going out there like, oh, she's smoking crack and this, that, the other. And I'm like, I'm running two businesses and like fucking moonlighting and freaking doing free content on like 12 different platforms with now a new like platform. You know what I mean? I'm like, do I really have time to be a whore and smoke crack? I don't think so. <sighs> Can you see? I'm a little frustrated. Okay, yeah, what's the gossip on you? I'm like, I'm in your energy now. You're frustrated. I think, did you pop off? Did you pop off on somebody? All right, what's the gossip? What's, what's tea, baby? What's tea? I get that from Popular Loner. If you haven't checked out her content, she's freaking amazing. I'm going to be shouting out people all the time. I love her so much. So I can't say that I, I know the kids say it or whatever, but I can't like take that as my own. Plus, I just love to expose people to other like really great readers. So I appreciate what she's done in my life. I've never met her, never talked to her, but um, man, oh man, that's a real one right there. I love it. Um, okay, let's see. All right. Yeah. No. Okay. There's a lot of, okay. Well, I'm really interested in what the cards are coming out because I feel like there's like this anger and then they're just like, do, 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 do. so um, what's tea on my path? Okay. Okay. We're going to use the good Tarot for this. And um, we're just going to get an anchor card. I guess we're calling it the anchor card. It is. It's the overall, basically. Usually the overall. See, I, that's why it is. I'm going to go with an anchor card because the overall would be, oh, we got the, we got the devil on the bottom. <laughs> temptation. The good Tarot. This is called Temptation, but it is, you know, who knows. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, let's get out of that. Let's just get an anchor. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There's the underlying, like. Uh, just a little tidbit for people who are trying to read tarot. Um, whenever you do the cards, whatever's in your left hand. I don't know if it's whatever is in there. Whatever is left on the, whatever hand has the biggest amount of cards after you deal. Let's put it that way. Whatever's on the bottom is called the overall. It's kind of like the, the underlying, like, subconscious. Like, um, so right now I'm doing an anchor, which is basically going to kind of give me an idea of how the reading is going to go. Or just give me, like, a jumping off point. For my intuition. So also, you know, I'm like a little lesson. I'm like, oh, hello. My little fledgling pile four. Are you like my fledgling tarot readers? Because I feel like I want to be very instructional with you. Um, so also here, uh, you want to, like, I'm the reason why I'm grabbing different decks is the universe is telling you to grab a certain deck because there's a certain type of artistry that's going to trigger my subconscious um, into the channeling and into the messages that's going to help you. So that's why we, we kind of switch decks up and it's because of the artwork triggers our subconscious into the memories that we have. And then we're able to be like, Oh, I remember this person or this energy, something like that. So anyways, back to the reading. Let's get the anchor card. Are we keeping them? Okay. Ooh. I got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Water, which is cups, which is emotion. Um, the Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment. Okay. So when it's in the upright, it's wish fulfillment. It's like self-wish fulfillment. The Ten of Cups is like involving other people, whether it's family or a spouse or children or something like that. Um, the Nine of Cups is a singular energy. Um, the Nine of Cups. So I'm, And then we have the Judgment Call here, which is karma. Um, so I'm just getting off these two cards that I think a lot of people realize that you were their f wish fulfillment. I think a lot of people are realizing, I think you might want to watch pile three, um, realizing that you were their wish fulfillment and they didn't realize it until you were gone. This might be the story of your life. I know it is part of mine. So that's why I can connect with it and articulate it to you. Right. 
Um, but um, I think, and I think the universe took these people out of your life so that they wouldn't be involved with you, right? When you went ahead, when you made your own wish fulfillment, when you went for your ten of cups, I definitely feel like because this is this is like this is judgment, like judgment. This is the call. This is the universe saying, okay, I saw what they did and I saw what you did. And now we're going to, the karmic scales are going to balance out and you're going to know exactly why. We're not going to wait two years for you to get your karma on this one, right? You're going to get your karma. Oh, I'm getting all juiced up on this. Yeah, no, I feel like you're very, very highly protected. I feel like you have some ancestors that are like, oh, you're going to fuck with that person? Let go, go ahead, hang yourself. Yeah, for sure. Um... But I also, I'm also getting like this weird feeling like people really wanted to be like on your coattail. I think they talk crappy about you, but when they realized like where you were going and who you actually were, I feel like they feel like they missed out on like a golden ticket or something like that, right? Like they missed the party boat. Uh, they could have been your, and that's why the universe had them show their ass to you and show themselves to you for sure. Let's get some tarot now. All right. Um, tell me more what's the gossip on pile four, please. My hands are so dry. For inspiration. Yeah, no more foundation. Like, you don't want to build with these people. You're like, I'm done. I'm good. I'm good. Go take your sandy foundation with your, like, whatever sticks and stones that you're trying to build something with. Like, and especially with this four of inspiration card, right? This one is, like, in the upright, it's four people. It's like the four sisters, right? North, south, east, west, like, could have, like, brought something together. Like, brought their gifts or their unique whatever it is together and like really make something and like boost each other up I love that saying um, real queens adjust each other's crown they don't try and knock them off they say hey you know and so yeah I feel yeah and I'm getting them missing the boat I don't think these people necessarily like you I think they just wanted to get a ride with you right I definitely feel like so I think that's the gossip there might be other people that are recognizing that this is what's going on yeah they were just I never like this card. It's like they, I don't even want to talk. There's some getting something off about that. Let's get one more card. I'm like, I don't like this. This is an icky vibe. Oh yeah, nine of material. We got another nine in reverse. They don't feel independent. They don't feel like these are the people that like latch on to other people's like, oh, you've done all the work. Let's be friends. And then I can, like, sabotage you, like, later, like, stab you in the neck once I've, like, made all of these contacts that you know. Or maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll help you with your business. And then I get all the names of the people that are, like, coming contacting you for brand deals. And then I call you, like, a crack whore. And then try and take your reputation and your, like, intellectual property. And, yeah, these are definitely people. And they're feeling, this is very codependent. Yeah, <laughs> this is very codependent. I think a lot of people are talking the gossip on you is that you're very independent and that you're not looking for like outward validation. And I think it pisses a lot of people off because they're like, you don't care whether I like you or not. And you're like, no, I like myself. I'm good. So <laughs> I feel like that's the end. I feel like that's the end of the reading. I'm going to go ahead and like design a thumbnail and upload this thing. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Nice, short, sweet, kind of feels good. I like might be able to knock another one out today, but um, I hope December is treating you well. Birthday month, did I mention that? Birthday month, if you're looking for a personal reading, um, you have opportunities down in the description box below um, through 2000, whatever year we're in, through the end of the year, 2023. Um, I will be doing only investigative tarot or, I mean, if it's a big couples read, when I say a couples read, I'm not like, does he love me? It's like, are you getting divorced? Do you need leverage? That's what I do. That's my specialty is I provide information and leverage and I provide a hundred back guarantee. Cause here's the thing is like, I'm so confident in my reading skills that if I, I, I won't poop the bed, you may not like what I say. Right. But I'd rather you have your money back and feel happy about that. But I mean, most of the stuff, like if it's not true, you know, a lot of it's I'm like, anyway, so we can have this conversation when you contact me for a reading. You can go on Fiverr, but if you want something else, you can also check me out on um, daughter, what it, who am I? Daughter of Wind Tarot at gmail.com. Okay, I love you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.